Welcome back, family. You know what I need y'all guys to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, guys. My channel is growing. Despite it's not small beginnings. You understand? Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Comment, family. I'm trying to get into the YouTube algorithm. YouTube tripping sometimes, but I'm going to keep peddling it anyway. Support my channel by going to the Cash App, guys, and donating there. It's dollar sign drummer 1980. I do appreciate you in advance. You also can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks located under the video, guys. Donating there as well. And like how I tell each and every one of y'all, I do appreciate you. Ten folds over, hands down. I'm proud that you're rocking. Well, 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 guys. You know who I am. You know my motto. I don't make believe, I make believers. I'm your gracious host, Drama. 1980 Helen from Columbia, South Carolina. I hope you're having a good day today. And if that's not the case, family, ask yourself why. Because remember this, happiness is an inside job. And it will always be an internal affair. Guys, we're back today again with my man, TBA. This is a good showing, guys. I just want y'all to hear some things. And this shows y'all the temperature of the society and our community. The women have gone astray, the men as well, but we ain't talking about the men that day. We are going to focus on the women today, so keep that in mind. All right, guys, now Jason finna have a conversation, and this is what I love about TBA channels. He always have the conversations. He always have the tough conversations, and you get to hear people ideology and people ideas and the way that people perceive life, all right? I'm going to call you to the screen, guys. Let's go. You get uh, China Dickerson. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Hi, good evening. So we're answering the question specifically, correct? Yes. So I think black people should support Roe v. Wade simply because I believe black people should support self-determination. Okay, self-determination to do what? So self-determination, the definition to be able to make decisions for yourself <clears throat> to be to say it in a more, I guess, um, inspirational way, um, to be able to choose your own destiny. That's the okay. definition of self determination to make decisions yeah. for yourself without outside influence. Okay, should you be able to make destructive decisions? No, but who defines you should okay. be able to define well, slow, destructive. Down. slow down, slow down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. No, just make sure we're clear because yes. you're you were asked a couple of times. You made it very clear. Self-determination. No limits. No limits. Self-determination. No, I, no, I didn't say okay. no limits. Well, oh, now, now she wants to rewrite it. OK, I didn't I'll, say no. Okay. I didn't say ma'am, no ma'am. OK, you're the one who said you should have self-determination. You said Correct. several times. Correct. Now that I've actually now that I've actually clarified it for you. Now she wants to backtrack on it. That's your first clue that your position. Position needs to be readdressed. Whatever you were thinking before you called me, now you have an opportunity to see that, oh yeah, it crashed and burned. The very first question that was asked about it, it crashed and burned. So this would be an opportunity for you to reevaluate that, uh, which is why I said self-determination to do what? Because if what you are trying to do, as I said at the beginning of the program four hours ago, if what you're trying to do is determined to do something destructive, then you shouldn't be doing that by your statement. You shouldn't do it. Is abortion constructive or destructive? Constructive. Okay. Show me the benefit that black people, black women who disproportionately have abortions, show me where they are disproportionately benefiting from that over other groups of women. <laughs> Self-determination is about making decisions for your life, not in consideration of someone else's lifestyle. Okay, it's you have not told me where the constructive model. You haven't told me where the constructive part of that is, ma'am. You're talking in circles. My God. Do anybody hear all this babble? See, whenever that you face with the real questions and people start trying to pin you down on something, people always try to run, especially with questions of this magnitude. Now, this is a very touchy and sensitive topic, guys. It's a very sensitive topic. And most people dare not even touch this, but I'm one of those that will. When it comes to life, 
if it wasn't somebody that forced you or either it's not life threatening, there is no reason given under the sun that you should be able to delete someone just from a moral standpoint. I'm not going to even bring my uh, faith in my belief system in this, but just from a moral standpoint, just think about this. Just wrap your head around this. We are here having a discussion on whether or not it is okay for someone to delete another innocent person. The love of many has waxed cold, guys. The love of many has waxed cold. The law is is her body, her choice, right? So, the power falls onto the woman. At the end of the day, it is the woman's decision to make. So, the power falls on her. The man don't have no say so whatsoever. The women have abandoned their womanhood, their motherhood. That's gone completely out the window. Education comes before life now. The way I look and what I want to do, everything that's self-serving to me comes before life. Even though I made the choice to lay down and do it, uh, they use abortion as birth control. And y'all know that I'm not lying because most women that go get abortions, uh, it's not due to the fact that that is some type of life threatening thing. No, it's because oh, it's a oops, baby, huh? Somebody don't want to hear this. Somebody don't want to hear this. Jesus Christ! Because it's a oops, baby. You just so cold hearted and frigid. You are so self serving and so self centered. Until this sign foreign to you, you made a decision. You did this. You conceived. And now we got to have a conversation about where well, it's not really a baby until it's three months and the baby don't get a soul into all this stupid talk. You asked me constructive in comparison to another race of people. And I am saying self-determination has nothing to do with comparing your life decisions to someone else's life decisions. OK, then how do you define constructive then, ma'am? If okay, here's a, one example: is that if I cannot um, medically carry the child? No, ma'am, I didn't say that. I say, how do you define a constructive event in a person's life? Something that benefits them, something that helps them, something that is um, adding to their life. Okay, then now explain to me how having an abortion helps, benefits, and adds to a woman's life. So the example I just gave. If it is medically destructive for me to carry the baby, then it would okay, be constructive. That's the, for that me is for only me. that's only about ten percent of cases. The other ninety percent. I'm giving you an example. You asked okay, me. Okay, so so you agree. So you agree then that we should get rid of the other ninety percent and only keep the ones that are a physical threat to her health. No, I do not. That's okay, the then now, so, so okay, so now you're that's what I'm saying. So don't say that it's about that when that's not really what you mean. You asked me for an example of constructive, I gave you one example of constructive, yes, but it was a dishonest illusion <laughs> that you were given that was dishonest because it's not what you meant. You were actually giving a dishonest, deceitful, it's not answer. what I meant. What you meant is a d abortion on demand. Not for her health, for any reason that they want to do it. Not because their health is in danger. That was the deceitful part of what you tried to do. I stopped you from doing that. You don't mean for health. You just mean for any reason. Wow. Okay. I appreciate this conversation. Thank you for raising it. I'm very glad that you admitted to your position. I hope that younger females will make better decisions and be responsible, decent human beings, which can be difficult. Being a decent person isn't easy. It's easy to be a coward. It's easy to be a liar. It's easy to be a woman who doesn't care about anything other than herself. It's easy to use terms like self-determination when you really mean selfish. It's easy to be a reprehensible individual. It's hard to be responsible. It's hard to be honorable. It's hard to be decent. It's hard to construct something. 
Abortion is destructive, which is why when she was asked, where's the constructive part of it? She couldn't tell you what it was. It's easy to be destructive and deceitful. It's hard to be constructive and honest. Jason was cooking for certain. Did anybody hear that answer that he gave? He was talking to a demon, if you didn't know it. Wrap your mind around the fact that these people will literally shed innocent blood without any regard. You have to think about that. Guys, let me talk to y'all for a second. Because never mind them. Let's start with the head, huh? Did you hear what I said? Let's start with the head. If you find out a woman have shed innocent blood and deleted a baby, and you just met her or y'all talking to her, and then you find out that you better run. You be listen to me. You better run for your life. Because if she would go the distance. And do such a heinous thing. There is nothing off limits. I'm trying to tell you. Listen at Wilson when it talk to you. I know what I'm talking about. If a woman goes to that length. The woman will do anything to you. You don't want to get involved with a woman. Such as that. I'm trying to tell you. You better listen at drummer. You better listen. I'm looking at you. You better listen. I'm talking to you. You better listen at me. Nothing is off limits after that point. Cheating? What is cheating? Because she shed innocent blood. So cheating is not that bad. She'll steal from you. She'll lie to you. She'll do anything. I'm telling you, don't open up Pandora's box because you will discover some, some things that you despise in that box. Trust me. You don't want to go down that rabbit hole, okay? Wrap your head around this now, guys. And we have to sit here and have to try to rationalize and try. No, I'm not doing that. It's wrong. And that's where I stand with it. If it's not any medical issues, listen to me. If it's not any medical issues, if it's not life threatening, you better have that baby. Now, I said earlier that I wasn't going to get into my belief system, either my faith system. That was on the first take. Now we're on the second take. Double take. Bars. Bars. It is our job to defend the helpless, the innocents. The baby don't know nothing. But yet, on the other hand, whenever your sons get killed in the, in the streets, you have to fit. Oh, my God. But you done kill one or two. Though. God told mighty, you ain't nothing but a hypocrite. A hypocrite. Crypt. The working definition of a hypocrite don't make no sense. So diabolical. See, you buying into this system. Just because they said it's right doesn't make it right. Understand that. Just because they say it's right doesn't make it right. Because I have heard women say, listen to what I'm about to say, and then I have to go. I have heard women say, the minute that they went and did that, they felt this emptiness on the inside. Because you know you're not supposed to do that. You know you're not supposed to do it, but you're taking the ways of, of the heathen. And the crazy thing is, whatever the heathen get, you gonna get. Because you have adopted their ways. So there is no distinction between you and the heathen. You sacrifice an innocent life. It's nothing but more like bell worship. That's all it is. Because what they do is take the blood and the parts and they sell them and do all type of stuff with it. You just don't know. I didn't know. I have heard women say it plagues them. It follows them. Some of them even say they can hear babies crying. All right. Okay. See, you're dealing with some stuff that you don't understand. The only thing that you see is the here and now. Oh, uh, you know, I got to go to school. Well, you better have the baby and go to school and find a way. Because you could be deleting the next drummer. God told me I didn't know. You could be deleting the next Jason Black, Tariq Nasheed, huh? Harriet Tubman, Michael Martin, Mega Evans. Dr. Claude Anderson, Dr. John Henry Clark, you could be deleting the next person that comes with a message 
But instead, you worry about yourself. Selfish. And this shouldn't even be up for discussion. This is foolishness. Do you hear me? This is 100% complete asinine foolishness. Buffoonery, if I ever heard it. We sitting here talking about whether it's right or wrong. Or uh, whether it should be. Wrong with y'all, man. Something wrong with y'all. And to be honest with you, I'm going to take it a step further than this. I hope judgment hit you. I hope your wound fall out. Huh? I said it. I hope your wound fall out while you're walking around. Hope it drop out. Your over shrivel up. I hope it. Yeah. Yeah. I said it because you ain't got no business doing that. Because it's one thing God hates and it's shedding an innocent blood. He hates that. It's in the Bible. He hates it. He said, before you mess with one of my little ones, you would do better to tie a milestone around your neck and cast yourself in the sea. And you know what a milestone is. Let me put it in layman terms. Put a 150 pounds of weight around your neck and jump in the ocean. You do better to do that, he said. But everything is about me, me, me. Okay. Keep on. Keep on going. Keep on going. I hope you become barren. That way, you don't have to worry about deleting people. I hope your wound drop like the Sahara Desert. Like Death Valley. Hope it stop working. Hmm? I hope it stop. DJ, I hope it stop working. Let me go before I say something wrong. Guys, what do y'all think about this? Is this not crazy to y'all? Or is it just me? But this is foolishness to me. And I call it out every time I get a chance. And I ain't nobody. Listen, I ain't nobody can convince me otherwise. And that's how I feel about it. God himself would have to descend from the heavens, from the third heaven and come on down here. And he going to have to tell me, drummer, it's OK. And I don't think he's doing that no time soon. Because he don't wrote in his word Inspired by men He worked through men God worked through men Do you hear me? He worked through men To get his point across He worked through nature To get his point across Sometimes he do it supernaturally To get his point across And y'all go sit here And try to rationalize this foolishness And for the men Let me talk to you for 30 seconds If you are in agreement You dirty too I hope your seed factory dry up. I hope your testicles, your gonads turn into razors and dry up. That's what I hope. But you ain't got no business agreeing with it either. Mush my behind. And then go talk about, well, I don't know. Uh, it, you know where well, it was going to inconvenience my life where well, you shouldn't have laid down, fool. If you must do it, at least protect yourself, idiot. You can catch STDs and UVTs and everything else. All the ABCs. And then you're going to lay down and then you're going to encourage her to actually go to the clinic and talk about you. Y'all, listen to me. I'm on one this morning. I don't care who don't like it. Whether it's your mama, your grandpappy, your grandmother, your brothers, your sisters, your favorite entertainer, your comedians, friends. I don't care who don't like it. It's wrong. And I stand on it 100%. I don't make no bones about or no corns about it. I stand on this 100%. I'm going to die like this. And I don't care who don't like it. I don't care if it's your favorite. Or I don't care who it is. It's wrong. No better than that, man. But guys, I'm gone this time. Until next time. Peace. And remember. There is more. Oh, Jigaboo's done jumping on board with the heathens. Ain't this something?